The truth is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives. They waited on the coast for their black partners to bring them black bodies. The stark reality is that our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new yet, my name is Divine. I'm a musical five, minominak, drummer, and a keyboardist. I have been for many, many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so, so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend your favorite singers for us to react to. Hey, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we back again with a new video guys. This is a short history of slavery. Wow. I'd love to check this video out. Like I really do not know much about slavery. And I would love to know more about slavery and how it comes about. But when it comes to slavery, I always hear about black people. Black people, black people more of the times. So I want to see how slavery come about and and I think it's myself more on it because it's already the history of slavery. So let me see how everything turned out to be. This is Owen's <laughs> message. So I love that woman. So I love to see how it turns out. You know how those guys who talk less very don't react more? Let's get into this video. And now for a brief history of slavery. Here's the first thing you need to know. Slavery was not invented by white people. It did not start in 1619 when the first slaves came to Jamestown. It existed okay. before then. It did not start in 1492 when Columbus discovered the New World. In fact, when the intrepid explorer landed in the Bahamas, the native Taino tribe hoped that he would help them defeat their aggressive neighbors, the Caribs. The Caribs enslaved the Taino and, on occasion, served them for dinner. Wait, wait. Have I been lied to my entire life? Because this is totally different from what I know. This is totally different. Damn. Slavery existed in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. The word slave actually comes from the Slavs of Eastern Europe. Really? Millions of them, all white by the way, were captured and enslaved by Muslims in the 9th century and later by the Ottoman Turks. It's slavery existed when the Roman Empire controlled the Mediterranean and most of Europe from the 1st through the 5th centuries. Slavery existed when Alexander the Great conquered Persia in the 4th century BC. Okay, now about it, it was so common that Aristotle simply considered it natural. The slave master model was just how the world operated in the great philosopher's day. Slavery existed during the time of the ancient Egyptians 5,000 years ago. Yeah, it's such a as return. far back as we can go in human history, we find slavery. As renowned historian John Steele Gordon notes from Time Immemorial, slaves were a major item of commerce, as much as a third of the population of the ancient world was enslaved. Wow. Here's the second thing you need to know. White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. Are you serious? I just have cold. I felt cold in my body right now. Like, are you serious? White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. Wow. It feels different. <laughs> it feels different right now. Damn. Wow. She does, she does open my eyes right now because how true is this? Like, how true is this right now? How true is this? I've never heard of this before and white people okay okay that's no more in 1833 britain was the first country in the history of the world to pass a slavery abolition act they were quickly followed by france who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies mm. then of course came the 13th amendment in the united states constitution after centuries of human slavery white men led the world in putting an end to the abhorrent practice. Mm. That includes the 300,000 Union soldiers, overwhelmingly white, who died 
during the Civil War. Now, am I saying that this makes white people better than anyone else? Of course not. My purpose here is to simply tell the truth. And the truth is that human history is complicated. No one, regardless of skin color, stands guiltless. Yet today, we are never told to consider the murderous Persian Empire or the cannibalism of indigenous tribes of North and South America or the heinous actions under the imperialistic Muslim, Chinese, Mongol, or Japanese empires, to name just a few. Instead, we're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. I really feel like crying right now because I feel I feel guilty in me. I feel guilty in me because... Um, Ever since I was growing up, um, I found this here is about like slave routine, like the white men came to Africa and um, pick out some black people, um, matritos and stuff like that. Then coming up to Owens, opening my eye right now, that slavery was actually liberated by the same white people who I was taught all my life that they were the one who kept us captive. Ah, I literally feel like crying right now. Damn. I'm, my body, like, I'm kind of like shivering in me right now. Like, I'm shocked. I'm totally shocked because this is not what I was brought up to know. I know the um, British people came to Africa. People from France also came to Africa to enslave a lot of black people and took them away from their original home back to um, Europe and totally changed their entire life. So... Knowing this now, it's Ooh, something else. Uh, I'm happy I discovered this before I die. <laughs> I'm really happy because I always have that in my heart. Like, there's white people were the ones who enslaved the black. So it's now I know more and I know more about history. When it's just open my eyes, she does open my eyes right now. She does open my eyes tomorrow. I'm really, really, really grateful for me to be able to see this video. And like all persistent lies, this lie spawns a bunch of other lies. On social media, I come across extraordinary depictions about how Africans lived like pharaohs before Europeans came and laid waste to their paradise. I wish any of this were true, but it's not. It's a fantasy. The truth is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives. They waited on the coast for their black partners to bring them black bodies. The stark reality is that our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Jesus. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery is a relic of the past, you're wrong. There are some 700,000 slaves in Africa today, right now. That's the lowest estimate that I could find. Are you serious? Other sources say there are many more. For context, that's almost twice as many slaves as were ever brought to the United States. Child soldiers, human trafficking, forced labor, these are the conditions that currently exist within the same sub-Saharan region where the transatlantic slave trade originated. African bodies are being sold today like they were sold then. And no, they are not being purchased by any country of white men. In fact, slavery, by any traditional definition, is exclusively practiced today within non-white countries. Are you serious? But we hear almost nothing about that. Just like we hear nothing about how slavery was universal until good people in Europe and America ended it two centuries ago. Why? Because our so-called leaders, black and white, wouldn't profit from it. Black victimhood is nothing if not profitable. It elects politicians and funds racial grievance groups. And if black Americans began to view themselves as partners in the American dream, if we embraced the patriotic spirit that holds all men are created equal, the patriotic spirit that is our real heritage, then the race hustlers would soon be out of business. And who wants that? I'm Candace Owens, author of Blackout for Prager University. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation. I have been lied to nearly my entire life about 
slavery. So I'm just finding out it's my own people who are selling us out. Uh, that's actually hits different. That hits different. Like that hits different because my mind was like when growing up, all this year that story. Yeah, black people, black people we, we, when handcuffed, like we were being injured, bruised, like pushed aside through ships to different things by white people to come invade our land and stuff like that. But I never knew my own people were the ones selling us out. Jesus. Uh, I think there's more to this life and that has been it my own eye. Like I need to know more. I need to learn more about history. I need to know more where I'm coming from. My fellow black people sold those out. Drinks, drinks, who drinks? Cheese. Oh, wow. Uh, were we that cheap? Like, oh, yes. I feel if I'm, if you were here right now, I would definitely gonna like give you a kiss. This is an eye-opening video and a very hot for one because I never expected my own people to send me out. I was brought up, I was being taught um, about white people being a slave in people, but uh, I never saw it in this direction. No, I've never heard it from anyone like this before in my entire life. This is totally different from what I've been brought up with, educated about. So... I appreciate this video. I really appreciate it. I'm really sorry for... I feel guilty in me right now because I always have that side for white people. Not that I hate them, but I feel like they were the one who, like, messed up Africa. So I'm I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. This is really a hotful video, but... Now you know where our trouble is coming from. It's from our own people. And we need to change... We need to change it. She said there are over 700,000 people in Africa now who are still enslaved. Like, twice the time that US came to invade the land, like, like twice the time, twice, twice. Jeez. Wow. I've really been blinded all this why. <laughs> I've really been blind, like, a lot of things I did not know. This is shocking. Really, really shocking. It's good to know about your history. Like, it's really good to know where, about where you come from. Me thinking I know about where I come from, I, I really don't know where crowds where I come from because Owen just proved it to me right. She just proved to me that like, I'm still ignorant about where I come from. Wow. Grasp is coming up a little more about um, slavery, more about things you know that Owen didn't bring out here. And more about the things you think um, I can't try like discover and know myself. This is an eye-opening video and I really do appreciate the recommendation. So if you have more recommendation for me, please keep the suggestion. Keep keep it coming, guys. Dang. My own people sold me out. <laughs> Damn, it's, it's painful. Comment down below, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all